what it do. It's your man, DC Cab. And you know how people say the universe conspires in your favor. And a lot of people don't know what that means. But personal instance. All right, so I got a truck that I've had a note on. It's a Jeep. Jeep uh, Patriot. I want to have a tow truck come get it, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to get the mechanic next door to my mother, my stepfather. Because he always, you know, he come out. He'll come to you. So he comes out. He comes out. He tell Mr. Pastern Pump. So we go buy a new Pastern Pump. You know, you got to take your old one over, take get the new one, the core charge and all that shit. Put everything back together. Shit still ain't it. Now, I'm like, fuck it. I'm throwing my shit to the car dealer. I'm going to trade this motherfucker in. Right. I'm trying to get cheaper. I ain't trying to pay more than what I'm paying for this joint. I say, if I got to put that much money down and pay that much money a month, I might as well just fix my fucking car. You know, the dealership I bought the car from. They trying to, you know, they're like time shit. Trading in your car is like a time shit. They trying to fuck you over twice, right? Don't trade the car in. Shop had my shit fixed in like two days, right? Wasn't even a fucking power steering pump. It was my starter. Actually, it was my alternator. Let me correct that. It was my alternator. Let me backtrack. So he changing my power stern pump, but he don't bleed it. All right, you got to bleed the power stern pump because the power stern doesn't supposed to have air in it. Boom. Car running good. That's because it got the bubbles in the power stern fluid. I see like a little bit of power stern fluid, but it's under a cover. So I figured, oh, it's just been there since... Five months ago when he changed it. I didn't think it was leaking. Put it in the pocket space and my stern wheel feel like it won't turn. But I'm in the pocket space. Come back to the car. Start it up. The stern wheel moving right. Boom. Good thing I got on New York Avenue because it's a straight shot to my house. Going into Maryland. I don't feel like no power stern fluid in it. And it's turning hard. I pop the hood. Look in the power stern. You can hear it. It's empty. The fucking shit is empty. So I put some more in there. My kid's mother coming to bring something for the kids. So I was like, I need to get some pasta and fluid. So she take me to get pasta and fluid. Come back, put some in there. And I start the car up after I fill it up. And you can see it coming out the little tube. Like I told you, he didn't bleed it. So it had bubbles in the shit. Like, all right, it's dark. I ain't going to fuck with it. I'm just going, I don't want to put all the shit in there. I bought two things of pasta and fluid make sure it was filled up. But I said, I'm going to wait till the morning so I can see. I got a toolbox in my trunk. Tighten it up. You know what I mean? Just tighten the little screw because it was like, it wasn't pouring out. It was just like bubbling out. Tighten it up. Turn it back on. See if it's leaking. ain't leaking. Take the top off. It's filled up. All that. Right? No bubbles though. The fucking leak then bled the system and there's no more bubbles. The power stern fluid inside looked clean. I don't have no issues. The universe conspired in my favor. Tighten that shit up. Ran it this morning. I probably about an hour late from work. Just wanted to make sure driving around, taking it off, chesting it. Tighten it up real tight. Boom. I'm good. No bubbles in the fucking power stern pump. This shit bled by itself. I'm like, he didn't believe the fucking system. But he replaced something that ain't need to be replaced for one. Then he didn't believe my system. I bought the wrong part. Pay him. To put on the wrong fucking part. Then he was a. You know what I mean? But. In the end. The universe. Corrected all that. I don't have to. You know what I mean? I had a used car. That ain't ever have new charge change. So I got a new power stern pump. New starter. New belt. And I just had to tighten it up. Ain't that a bitch.